Okay, so my Eurovision review of this year's entry, 2018, entry for Malta. And I'm actually going to tell you what the song is called. It's called Taboo, and I'm going to tell you who's performing it. Christabel is her name. I'm sorry, I apologize to Ireland for forgetting to mention the name of their song and their <laughs> performer. Um, Malta is sending a song called Taboo, performed by a beautiful young lady, Christabel. Um, Malta is one of those countries that I sort of always keep an eye on because they send, quite often, they send really interesting songs. And I also know that the Maltese are a Eurovision loving nation who I think if they were to win would completely lose their collective shit and would put on such an amazing show for us. Like they would just put their heart and soul into it and it would be amazing. So I'm hoping that one year uh, the Maltese will actually win. They've come pretty close. Uh, and it would be amazing to see them win. I'm always hoping that they will send something fantastic for that reason. Um, I don't think this is their year. But I do quite like the song. Um, it's a sort of sweeping semi-ballad and it's um, it has pretty interesting lyrics and it has it has a more interesting melodic line, I think, than a lot of the other songs that I've covered so far. Uh, and I think that a big strength for this song is the singer. Uh, this young lady who I really like is not, like, how can I say this in a way that isn't rude? She's not super skinny. I'm not saying she's fat, absolutely not. She has a normal body. But it's really nice to see someone who doesn't look anorexic performing in this contest. Because they're, yeah. Again, I'm not offended, trying to offend anyone. I may be offending them, but I'm not trying to. I just, I really like seeing different body shapes, and I think Christabel is a beautiful girl. She's not a fantastic singer, but she does have something that is going to be very advantageous for this song. She has an amazing stage presence. She's so happy on stage. I'm going to link to both the uh, live performance and the video in the video description. You should watch both, because in the video, she's very serious. Um, the video is actually pretty bizarre. It has a plot and it's a very dramatic story and she's very serious But then when she's actually on stage, she's just so incredibly happy to be there that she can't stop smiling and she can't stop showing This just joyfulness that's just coming out of her and I think that the audience When she's on stage in Lisbon, I think that the audience is going to love seeing that I think that she's going to really hit home with a lot of people. Uh, being a beautiful young girl, that never hurts. And having this energy on stage where everyone can tell that she's super happy to be there. She's loving it. She loves performing. She loves just sharing this song with the world. I think it's just, it's something that is going to benefit them a lot. Um, the song itself isn't super catchy or anything, but it's, uh, it's up to the standards that I expect from Malta and um, depending of course on the presentation on stage which I have no idea what they'll do maybe they'll stick with what they had in their national selection maybe they'll try something that looks a little even more like the video maybe they'll do something completely different um, I think that will be an important factor because they really need to showcase their singer, who's wonderful. Again, not a fantastic voice, but other than that, her stage presence is fantastic. And they need to not have a lot of elements to distract from that, because that really is their entry's biggest strength. So, best of luck to Malta. I would love to see you guys win one year. I don't think we're gonna be seeing each other in Valletta in 2019, but I hope you'll do well. I hope so. And again, one year, Look at Portugal. Decade after decade after decade. Got there in the end. You guys can too. Good luck.